Hey everyone, my name is Rob and this is my first devlog. I started Unreal about a month and a half ago and I'm currently making a third person UFO shooter game. This whole idea started when I was just making this UFO model in Blender. It's pretty cool, I am pretty new to Blender, but now that I have a basic understanding of it, I can kind of create things without having to follow tutorials anymore. But yeah, the first thing I needed to do was to create a basic flight system. And I found this tutorial by this guy called Hayes. I'm not sure if I pronounced it right. I was drawn to it because of his fast flight mechanic. I really enjoyed how you could just um, have a like a normal flying mode and then you can have a super flying mode. And uh, so I thought it would work out perfectly for the UFO movement I was going for. Once I had the basic movement down, I went ahead and imported the model that I made in Blender. And so far the game was coming to life. I really enjoyed how it looked in game and I was super excited to move along on this journey of making my actual first game. Since I imported the mesh into the game I couldn't actually use it so I had to make it a skeletal mesh and then apply that skeletal mesh to the mesh of the mannequin that Unreal just has as the starting point and it was honestly pretty big so I had to scale it down a little bit and it was looking pretty good but when I decided to move around there was a huge problem it kept jumping up and down like this and I honestly had no idea why as I was still kind of new to it but after looking around in the blueprint area I noticed that pause animations was unchecked and since I'm in a spaceship I didn't really see the use for animation so I just disabled that and it worked like a charm. The game was coming to life even more than it was before and this whole time I just have the biggest smile on my face because you know it's exciting making your first game. I felt like the camera was a little too close so I moved it back, moved it up and rotated it just slightly and you know it, it turned out pretty good. After flying around for a bit I quickly added some blocks that resembled buildings because I wanted to get more of a feel on how fast the UFO was actually moving. I wanted it to be pretty snappy and responsive and mimic how UFOs actually move and I was pretty happy with how it turned out. From there, the next obvious move was to actually make the UFO be able to shoot. So I found another tutorial by Gorka Games. In this tutorial, he only had it for one, but since I had two laser cannons, I had to duplicate and just make another spawn position for the projectile, and I was good to go. But every time I shot something, it would just destroy it because of how the nodes were set up. So I ended up taking out one of the destroy actor nodes and then proceeded to make the laser actually look like a laser laser with this pretty cool green texture I had made. And from this point on, it was looking very cool. I was very excited at this stage and just eager to continue on. So I ran into an issue where the UFO is actually bigger than the capsule itself for the mannequin that I replaced. So it was kind of clipping through some of the buildings like this. And I ended up not being able to find a solution for this even after adding a collision sphere. So if anyone has any ideas on how to fix it, let me know, that'd be greatly appreciated. I wanted to add my own sound effects into the game. And so I thought it'd be fun to try my own laser sound effects. It's not set in stone, but this is what I have so far. Moving on to some level design, I went into Blender to make some asteroids and for some reason they didn't export properly so they kind of just look like floating popcorn. Shortly after I found another tutorial on how to make a space sky sphere through this program called Spacescape. However, there were way too many stars with the one I made so I ended up using a different one and the motion blur was enabled so it made the stars very taxing on the eyes so I just disabled that. The one positive thing I took away from it was that I was able to see how the game was turning out and you know, even though it wasn't great, I was still happy with it. So I had this idea where I wanted to make it where you could select different kinds of spaceships and they have different features or different power or whatever speed. And for some reason, I really wasn't liking the way this direction was going with this one. So I ended up scrapping it and now looking back on it, I wish I didn't rip. But the next one I made, I actually really enjoy it. It kind of was menacing looking and really looked like an enemy spaceship. So we're going to see where this one goes. I was kind of deciding where I wanted the lasers to go and I think on the top is going to be best for this one. Uh, it just kind of fits the best out of everything else that I tried. After modeling the enemy spaceship, I was experimenting with some level design and this is what I came up with. I changed the laser sound effects and the asteroids looked a little less like floating popcorn. I also added a new spacescape along with this bear I found on the Fab Marketplace and so far it's pretty cool. But yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. All types of feedback is appreciated. Let me know what y'all think. I'm going to be posting more game dev videos from now on so please like and subscribe and I'll see in the next one.